Hello everyone, I'm Sada Shavarao and welcome to Sada Learning Hub. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the most important methods in the Hibernate. I'm not discussing all the methods, whatever the methods are available in the Hibernate. I'm going to discuss about what are the most important methods are available in the Hibernate. See, the first method is build session factory. Build session factory creates a session factory using the properties and the mappings in the configuration file. The session factory will be immutable. So changes made to this configuration after building the session factory will not affect it. See, say create session factory using the properties and the mappings in the configuration. Whatever the configuration, uh, Hibernate configuration file, uh, or whatever the properties are, you are mentioned in the Hibernate configuration file, Based on that, all the configurations, we are going uh, we are going to create a session factory. Session factory is the immutable object. So changes are made in the configuration after building a session factory will not affect. The next method is open session method. Session factory dot open session always opens a new session that you have to close once you are done with the operation. Whenever you are calling the open session, it is going to create a new session at every time. After completion of your work, we need to close that session. The next one is begin transaction method. Begin transaction method begins a unit of work and return the associated transaction objects. Begin a unit of work and return the associated transaction object. If a new underlying transaction is required, begin the transaction. Otherwise, they continue the new work in the context of the existing underlying transactions. If you want to create the new transaction, just we can call the begin transaction. Begin transaction is going to create a new transaction. If you are not interested with the new transaction, simply go with the old transaction, your work. That is about to begin transaction. Whenever you are calling the begin transaction, it is going to create a new transaction. Whenever you are calling the open, whenever you are calling the open session method, it is going to create a new session object. Whenever you are calling the begin and begin build session factory object, it is going to create a session factory object. Next commit method. Commit method means it is going to commit the transaction. Whatever the operations you are doing, all those operations we are committing into the database. If you are not committing, uh, if, you, if you are not calling the commit method, your transaction is not going to commit it to the database, into the database, not committed to the database. The next method is close method. Close method means end the session by releasing the JDBC connection and uh, clearing up. See, after completion of your, all your operations, definitely we need to release the, definitely we need to close all the sessions. For that, we are, we are going to call the close method to close all the sessions, to close all the clear up the activities. The next method is load method. Load method returns the persistence instance of the given entity class with the given identifier assuming that the instance exists. Identifier means a primary key value. See, load method returns the persistent instance of the given entity class with a given identifier assuming that the instance exists. See, if the identifier if the identifier is not available in the database means primary key primary key ID is not available in the database, it will throw an exception. The next method is get method. Get method returns the persistence instance of a given entity class which is given identifier or null if there is no such para persistence instance. See whenever you are calling the get method it returns the persistence instance of a given entity class which is given the identifier. If it is not available in the database simply it is going to return the null in the in case of get method. In case of load method, if the if it is not available ide identifier in the database, simply it, return, it, it throws the exception. The next method is called persist method. Persist method makes a transient instance 
persistent persist method is nothing but to save the data into the database make a transient instance persistent the next method is called save method save method persists the given transient instance first assigning a generate generated identifier if you see the persistent method persistent method doesn't return anything coming to the save method persistent persist the given transient instance means it is going to save the object into the database and first assigning a generated identifier next coming to the save or update method save or update method either save or update the given instance depends upon the resolutions of the unsaved values checks for example if you are saving the if you are updating a object into the database it is going to check is that particular object is available in the database or not if it is available it is going to update that particular record if it is not available it is going to save the record into the database coming to the update method update method updates the persistent instance with the identifier of a given detached instance it is going to update the persistence instance which is with the identifier of a given detached instance if the identifier is not available simply it is throws the exception coming to the merge method merge method copies the state of a given object onto the persistent object with the same identifier see merge method is also nothing but it is it is going to update the data merge method copies the state of a given object into the persistent object it is going to converting the state of an object with the same identifier next method called evict method evict method means removes this instance from the session catch we are going to give the uh, we are going to give the identifier to the evict method evict method is going to do to remove the instance from the session catch the next method is called clear method clear method is completely clear the session it is going to complete the clear the session delete method delete method is going to remove the persistent instance from the data store simply whenever you are calling the delete method it deletes the record from the database simply it removes a persistent instance from the data store the next method is called create query method create a query instance for a given hql query string if you want to execute a hql commands definitely we need to create a query object by calling the create query method if you are calling the create query method it is returning the query method uh, query object it is going to create the query instance for the hql query string the next method called list list method returns the query result as a list if you do the select operations whenever if you see the select operation if you if you are doing the multi row operations of a select operation simply you are going to call the list method list method is going to return the list of results as a it is going to return the query result as a list the next method is execute update method execute update method execute uh, executes the update or delete statements see whenever we are doing the non select operations on the multi row operations we are going to use the execute update method execute update method is going to execute the queries of non select operations next create criteria method create criteria method is going to use to create a criteria instance for the given class see it is going to give the create criteria instance of a given class whenever you are calling the create criteria method it is going to return the criteria instance create sql query so if you want to execute the native sql commands into a, in, by using the hibernate we need to create an object of sql queries for that simply we are going to call the create sql query it is going to return the sql query instance if you want to create a sql query instance simply we are going to create uh, we are going to call the create query method create a sql query instance for a given sql query string next coming to the get named query get named query is going to create a query instance see if you are using 
maybe a hql queries or a native sql queries if you are using uh, multiple places simply we are going to put it into the those queries into the globally and we are giving it to the name to that queries if you want to get that queries we are going to call the get named query by giving the name it will returns the query object create a query instance for a named query string defined by the metadata whatever the name you are given automatically it is going to fetch that particular query and give it to in the in the form of query instance these are the uh, these are about a most important methods are available in the hibernate next video i'm going to discuss what are the uh, differences most of the differences are available in the hibernate this is about uh, most of the important methods are available in the hibernate most frequently we are going to use uh, these methods into our coding this is about uh, uh, methods most important methods thank you guys thank you for watching please subscribe my channel sada learning hub if you like this video please click on like button and share it to others thank you for watching